so in this tutorial we are going to see how to read the file with asynchronously here you can see i am having a file that file name is a test file dot txt in that file i have wrote hi how are you now i need to read this file in node.js so how we can read so this is a simple app.js program here i have created how to run this server that is by default or you can create also so first we have to require fs so what we can do we have to define one constant and we have to give name as a fs then just use require in require we are going to use fs fs here refers to file system so with the help of fs we can perform all the operations so let's start just here use fs then here you can see we are having so many by default method in that one we are going to use read file you can see here after that here we need to pass parameter so first i am going to give the file name so our file name is a test draw test file dot txt next i am just going to use function here i can assume like error and our callback callback will contain our data so if it will be error then it have to show some error so here you can keep anything like console dot log and just error so what will happen if anything error will happen it will come here next as condition i am going to just print out this output so console.log and output will come in the data so what we have done here here first we are going to use fs fs is a file system in that we are going to use read file here first argument is a path of file next we have given here callback that means function either it can be error or output if it is error then it will print error if it is our output then it will print here output so i will just go and run this program so once i will run you can see our server is running 3000 port okay because this took from here next you can see it is coming in the buffer so we need to see what hi how are you but here it is coming into buffer so what we have to do here just open this one and once you open here you can see first one is a parameter is a path next one is option then callback so what i am going to do here i will just go and try to print here utf8 then i'll just use comma then i will just run here so here you can see now it is showing hi how are you so what is here utf8 utf8 is default encoding but we can specify any custom encoding also it depends on you what we are going to use but always remember it is your second parameter that is option here next i want to show you something here suppose i am going to copy this line and i am going to print here hi so what we can thought here first of all maybe it will print this line next it have to show here data and next it have to print here hi so once you run you can see here it is showing hi server running and hi how are you definitely we can see it have to print after that but it is taking time and it is printing later because node.js always run asynchronously so how we can run synchronously so in next video we are going to see